Angela with the Kansas City Bridal Group, and I'm here with Robert with Travel Benefits, Benefits by Design. Design. Um, and we're going to share a few tips with you for um, your honeymoon and travel plans for your wedding. Um, so, Robert, what are some of your... Uh, first, tell us a little bit about your travel okay. agency. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, Travel Benefits by Design, we started back in 2009, mm -hmm. and we do experiential travel. So we take things that, that the client wants to do, the things that the client likes to do, and we put that all in together with a trip. And and then well our tagline is dream, design, deliver. Okay. So cool. we're taking your dreams, your your dreams of what your perfect trip would be and putting that all together and delivering that is the perfect trip. Nice. So I'm celiac and my boyfriend mm -hmm. is huge into golf. Right. So if we came to you with that, right, what would you put together? Well I would probably send you down, I've got the perfect resort. We're thinking about it would be in Jamaica Very cool. where golf is included nice. so take care of him and it's a big enough resort where you can actually bring people together and do things for for celiacs if we want to do it as a celiac group or whether it's just you individually mm -hmm. but do it in a place where the food can be tailored directly to you oh nice and so we can actually set it up and have the the chef meet with you when you arrive at the resort and put together a whole menu for you Perfect. So I don't have to worry about getting sick on right. the honeymoon. Right. Exactly. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's just it's just a, it's a cool because that's when you deal with top quality resorts, top quality you know, people. Mm -hmm. You can get these things done. Very nice. So what tips? Uh, what are your top three tips that you have for our brides that are planning their weddings? Well, the main tip would be to communicate mm -hmm. because I'm here to take care of you to make your honeymoon special. Okay, and if you don't tell me, you know, if I if I can't get to know you and understand what it is you like and what you want to do, then it's hard for me to design for you. I mean, okay. you know, if you want me just to throw out a recommendation for a resort, I can do that, but it may not be the right resort. Awesome. Because if you, you know, if you like certain things, you know, if you want to be, you know, if you like coffee, well, then I've got a couple resorts that are close to coffee plantations. But if I put you somewhere where it's not close to a coffee plantation, then I can't, you know, and if I don't know that, see, it's the things that, I, that we can put together for you. Perfect. So I need to make sure that I, ha I give the time. Right. To it takes a little more time. Right. To have a good conversation. So, and then the more I tell you, the yeah. better it's going to be can, for me. And I can pick up on things. I mean, like a, a honeymoon couple that we had that, uh, uh, in talking to them, they loved Irish music and Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. And so we set them up on a honeymoon in Ireland. Just did a little self-driving tour, but at the very end, we got a membership into the Irish Whiskey Society. Oh, nice. So it just, you know, that little added touch. And if we hadn't gotten to know them mm -hmm. and know these things, you know, they could have come to us and said, we want to do a honeymoon in Ireland, okay? And we would have put them up in a couple places, maybe a bit. B and B and maybe a castle or something. You know, they saved a couple castles mm -hmm. and we designed That's this thing cool. for them. But had we not really had that conversation, we would have missed the high points that they were really wanting. And then it would have been just a honeymoon. Okay. It wouldn't have been the special honeymoon. Because our, you know, especially for honeymoons, you know, we want this thing to be, you know, when you hit that 50th wedding anniversary, mm -hmm. you know, we want the, you, you to say, remember our honeymoon. And you can tell it detail for detail, Perfect. which you did. Nice. Because a lot of times in our, in our weddings, you, know, you won't remember a lot of the details of the wedding because it's just a big blur. Mm -hmm. But the honeymoon is that time when, you know, as, as a husband and wife, you really get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You get to spend that time. You get to come down off of the high of the wedding and just be. Nice. And you're, you know, you're, you're building. It's the first place you're going to build that bond. I mean, you've already built the bond as a couple, mm -hmm. but now you're building that bond as a husband and wife. Perfect. And so it's got to be very special. Nice. What's your next tip? Uh, be safe. Okay. We also teach a safe travel course. And I had a honeymoon couple come to us uh, just a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, we're getting married in January. They said, you know, we're thinking about going to uh, Thailand. Well, I said, yeah, because some things that started happening in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And, and you've got to watch and see what it is, what's going on. And I said, you know, at that point in time, though, this is, you know, three or four weeks ago, I said, you know, 
I wouldn't, I would not not travel to Thailand, but I wouldn't do it on my honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to have to be on my A game, you know, keeping watch for everything. And because my, my time on my honeymoon is to be with my significant other, Perfect. to be with my, my spouse. And you have a lot of background in that personally. It's with for, knowing travel safety. And oh yes, yes. We, we, like I said, we teach the safe travel course. A lot of it was developed from the Air Force material, from the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. you know, from a lot of different sources. And, and teaching this course on how to stay safe and how not to become a victim when you travel. So in planning any honeymoon or travel, mm -hmm. they should definitely look up this course. Right. So. Yeah, they should, they need to be taking the course because it's, it's, and it's not just when you travel. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's places in the United States when you go somewhere. There are places here in Kansas City that I won't go or that if I do go, I'm going to be doing things a different way mm -hmm. than I go to somewhere else. Right. And the laws in different countries are and different. And then all the so different laws, all the things that are going that. on. You know, making sure that I'm enrolled in the STEP program. I mean, we can go through a whole list. I've got a list of 250 tips nice. that we can use. And what's your third tip for our brides? Third tip for the brides, uh, again, going back to the communication, but getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And this is not just for you know travel part of it. This would be for any vendor. Okay. Because the vendors are here. This is for your special day. Mm -hmm. The vendors are here to take care of you and to make things special. And if you don't communicate those types of things, then you know, we can't get them done. Awesome. Okay. So no matter who they're working with, right. you have to be open and have a good be conversation. Be open and, and, and communicate. Get back to people. Okay. That's the biggest thing is, you know, a, as a professional and I talk to you, then give me feedback. And, Keep and that conversation going. That'll be very, very helpful for you because whatever's mm -hmm. going on for that bride, there might be other brides that yeah. are having those same thoughts and stuff. So right. exactly. Um, perfect. Uh, do you have some top recommendations of honeymoon travel for well, this it, next year? Uh, from the way pricing, uh, uh, it depends on where you want to be budget wise. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jamaica and Mexico are always going to be your cheapest from flight wise. But if you're, you're that couple that wants to start a family right away, then Zika has to be a very big thing at this point in time. Yeah. And so now we, if we need to go somewhere that's not Zika, then we need to look at you know maybe like the Bahamas. Okay. Because the Bahamas being in salt flats and all the, there's no fresh water, it's all brackish water. No mosquitoes. There's no mosquitoes. And so it's a safer place to travel. There's no Zika. Very Same cool. way with Nevis. Nevis. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, so there's no mosquitoes. Another thing we could do, if, if that's the case, then maybe do a cruise. Okay. And just lather up with insecticide, you know, when you go into port. Because when you're on the ocean, there's no mosquitoes. Very great ideas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or, or go up into the mountains. So if brides want to contact you, how can they reach you? Uh, our office phone number is 816-595-6000. Mm -hmm. Our website is TravelBenefitsByDesign.com. And the safety of the security company is TravelingAware.com. Perfect. Thank you so much thank for you. sharing your information with us. Thank you for having us.